welcome to another episode of Reezy TV. Today I am at the workshop again and I am going to be... Whoa, glare. Don't like that. Quite it's bright outside. Doesn't like that. Right, anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to de-honeycomb your standard Fiesta ST front grille. Okay, first of all, if you want to remove your front grille, there's two ways you can go about it. First way is literally walking up to your car, grabbing hold of the grille and pulling nice and hard. Chances of you doing that and breaking all the clips, extremely high. The way I like to go about it is removing the front bumper, just using a flathead screwdriver and pushing from behind. And you should end up with a grill like this. None of the clips should be broken, theoretically. That is if you take your time and do it properly. But so yes, the way I'm gonna go about doing it today is make sure you've got yourself a workbench nice and clear. This is just how I'm gonna go about doing it. I've done it once already, this, so I've had a little bit of practice. First time round, me and my mate Mark, if you haven't seen his channel yet, MBTV, go and have a look at it. Right, anyway, as I was saying, sorry about that. Um, the way I'm gonna go about doing it today is I've got myself some C-clamps. I'm gonna hold it in place because that way it's not gonna fly around. I found the quickest way to go about doing it is going down to your local depot with your angle grinder, finding a sanding attachment. That will rip through this, probably melt it at some points as well, but who cares, because it's gonna fall through anyway, and just absolutely rip through it. So I recommend you go about buying one of these and it will take you minutes rather than hours. If you end up using your, like a mouse sander or something like that, then it could take you potential hours to get it done so yeah put yourself a microfiber down on the table to save scratching up your grill because that's the last thing you want to do and then get yourself some c clamps just to hold it in place that's as if this is going to fit yeah he's going to fit so yeah with the c clamps down in place it should stop the grill from moving as you're going about sanding it like i say i do recommend going about the angle grinding method Sorry if you can't hear much what I'm saying. It's a metal roof and it has just started tipping it down outside, which is not ideal, but hey ho, welcome to England and all that jazz. So yeah, like I say, you probably have to adjust the clamps if you're working up to the sides just to help hold it in place as you're going about it. But yeah, if we start going now, I'll start going over the top of it evenly as I can, right? to stop it from getting too hot well if it does start getting too hot it'll look like it's melting literally just stop what you're doing wait for it to cool down again and then go back at it because if the plastic's hot you could melt actually some of the honeycomb if it wait for it to go cold it'll just go back to normal state and then you can sand it down and more often than not when it starts melting you're close to it falling through anyway and you'll see in a minute when i start that it will literally just start falling through. It will take a few minutes, whereas a normal sander, as I say, that you get from like a home depot, could take you up to a good hour. So let's get started. guys I've literally been going at it for a couple of minutes I mean, you can see what I mean this is like melted near enough so I'm just giving it a rest but you can see where it's already pretty much all the way through in a lot of these places I know the camera is getting a bit fuzzy the light in here is getting a little bit dark due to the rain so do apologize let's see if I've got any there we go that might be better that might not be right so yeah I've got you can see where it's melted it and you can see where it's starting to go through. I've been at this less than five minutes, genuinely. You're watching me in a slightly sped up motion, I will admit that. But you can see where the ST badge is, so you don't go through that, just get close to it. But yeah, just start, keep going along like this and it'll be done in no time. By now, the time I've spoken to you for about a minute now, it should be cool enough for me to crack on. But I just thought I'd show you what I mean by the melting effect, but yeah. This is so much easier than using one of your domestic sanders. It takes a hell of a lot less time as well. As you can 
can see, it's been about, I want to say, two minutes now after I last picked the camera up with you guys. And you can see how it's melting in places. It's still a bit on the toasty side. But where it's been sanded from behind, it drops through. And you are left with like an OEM spec grill. Admittedly, it won't get rid of your number plate recess. That means that takes some serious work. Hence why I went for the uh, Cruise Motorsport front grill, personally. But whilst you've got your standard grill, it's all right as well. But yeah, you can go so far, and then all these little flaky bits here, you just pick out. And they literally just come away in your fingers. And that's how you clean up your grill. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this off, and I'm gonna show you guys the finished article. So now you know how to do it. I think it's going to come along really quite nicely. So there you have it guys. Here's the rear of the grill all nicely sanded back. As you can see it literally just falls through and you can get as close to the ST badge as you want because that won't fall through because there's a groove going into the ST so you can get as close to that as you want. Admittedly it does need a little bit of a clean up and around because well it's got loose plastic on. Here's a rough idea of how much plastic comes off of it. That is a lot of plastic and that's not even including the floor. So do make sure that uh, you are in an area you don't mind getting quite dirty. I suggest outside being one of them. And here's the front end of it. Just so you guys can see. Nice and clear, nice and clean. Admittedly, I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit dirty. It's still got the fly muck from where Alex dropped it off to me. But no, all in all, it's come out really well and I'm really happy with it. I hope that in today's video I've just helped one person. If I've helped one person de-honeycomb their grill, I've set out what I've wanted to achieve. I've done my own now and that one and I can honestly tell you the quickest and easiest way to go about doing it really is with an angle grinder and a sanding disc. I wouldn't go metal flappy disc because that would be far too aggressive. So thank you guys for tuning in today. One thing I will add, if you live in Devon and um, you don't want to go about sanding back your own front grill, I will very kindly do this one on an exchange basis. So hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, one or the other. My name's Aaron Razy, if you didn't already know, from Razy TV, you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll do it on an exchange basis because I know to some people it is unearthing or you just can't be bothered to do it, which is fair enough. The perks of doing this to this grill, I know a lot of you are running the Stage 3 AirTech or Pro Alloy intercoolers. It shows off the logo brilliantly. It also, um, even if you don't have that, it, well, it's, it helps with the cooling sides of things. It opens up your radiator that little bit more. And yeah, like I say, thanks for watching guys. I hope I've helped you out. See you all soon. I know I've finished the video, but I just want to say a big shout out to Mark and Annie and congratulations on the birth of their new baby girl, weighing in at six pound eight ounces. Mother and baby are healthy. If you um, are a subscriber to MBTV and wonder why his um, content is a little bit slow at the moment, he is sorting out his new house and he's got a new one in the world. So congratulations to you both. I can't wait to meet her. Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in a bit.